Hi, everybody. So this is a laser level that I picked up on Amazon for about $25. So let's take a look at the outside of the box real quick. Here's the Amazon label with the part number. Rock Seed. Uh, LV-1. I wonder what the LV-1G does. Um, oh, here we go. I guess it's green laser. That's interesting. We have to see how much the green laser cost. I'll have to compare that on Amazon's website. Uh, so there's the outside. Let's open it up and see what comes inside. I'm going to give you a little pouch. That's cool. And, of course, the user manual. And it's stuck down in there for sure. There we go. All right. LV1 user manual. Uh, Technicia, so it looks like it has a whole bunch of different languages. We'll look at that in a second. Six pages of English. Okay. Uh, nice enough case. Uh, belt loop. I don't know why you would hang this on your belt. I guess you could. So. Hmm. Yeah, this does look like the ones that they show online. Okay, that's cool. Comes with some batteries. <laughs> Double POW. Never seen this brand before. Uh, AA LR6 1.5 volt mercury free alkaline batteries. So, I guess we're going to need these for operating this thing. Open up the Double POW. And let's take a look at the tool real quick. So, I guess that's the on-off button. Here's the laser inside. And I think this actually is a self-leveling laser. I'm not really sure. Rock seed. So these are probably designed for any logo you want. I'm sure these are sort of a generic laser level. And if you're so inclined to buy, I don't know, 5,000, 10,000 of them. Uh, you can have them custom printed with your specific brand. Yeah, okay. So I think that means unlock and lock. Uh, it also could be an oil can and a trash can. Not really sure there, but I think it's lock and unlock. Uh, anyway, and then here it says... So look at that. Uh, say a pari. Uh, say, oh, recycling. Okay, so I guess recycle the batteries. It's all in French. Hmm. Don't know why it's not done in English also, but how does this open? Looks like it might be a hook. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is where the batteries go, plus minus. It's minus like that and plus like that. That's interesting. Look at the battery. It has a date printed on the edge. Expires 08-2029. Oh, it actually has the manufacturing date. 2024-08-10. So these batteries are about a year and a half old because it's uh, almost Christmas 2025. That's interesting. We'll pop that closed. Quarter 20 screw. And you have to hold it. You do. Uh, it's got red LEDs right now. Can you see that? Yeah. Sort of. Let's turn some lights off. There we go. Red LEDs. Oh, look at that. It is putting a laser out. And it's basically just following however I move this thing. Let me see what happens when I put it down. It's still red. Oh, because it's in trash can mode or lock mode, let's put it in unlock. And what happens if I move it? It's still pretty solid. Oh no, it loosens up once I set it. 
once I put it th in this direction, the whole thing loosens up. But oh, why did it go to lock again? Unlock. There we go. Okay, so now it's turning green. Well, let me hit the lights and we'll take it over to the wall and see what it looks like. So one moment, please. So I've moved over against the wall and turned the lights down a little bit, but now you can see how this laser is put all the way across the wall. And it's actually quite wobbly now that it's unlocked. Uh, so I guess the green light means that it's level, but if I just move this a little bit, you can see the whole thing is just kind of like a boat on the water. Um, so that laser inside this box can definitely float around, which is kind of cool. Uh, but then if I lock it, uh, for some reason it turned off. Maybe it has an automatic off timer. But yeah, once you, once you lock it down, um, this thing stays pretty rock solid. And it's actually kind of funny because it's drawing both lines at the same time. Um, but in the frame here, uh, because you're not seeing the entire length of this uh, horizontal line, um, as I move this, it looks like the horizontal line is staying still. Um, but it actually is moving across the wall. Um, it's just an optical illusion because the camera frame is only so wide. Um, but then likewise, if I hold that, if I could hold this still well enough, then I could do this and it looks like the vertical line is staying still, but in actuality it's moving too. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You know, you can put it in any direction you want, move it around, uh, or of course, unlock it. And then you can set this wherever. I guess this way won't work. You can only be so far off. But if I have it, if I leave it on the table, which is somewhat level, it's okay. And then if I tilt this, it still shows level lines until I get too far off and then it blinks. So it can't can't be too far off if I go the other direction. Yeah, same sort of thing. That's cool. Let me try this way. I'm sure it's the same. Yeah, you can only go so far in that direction. And finally, yeah, same thing that way. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I guess I could try... We just lock it real quick. Oh, it keeps. Let's have an automatic off timer. Um, should I show this towards the camera? Yeah, let me show it a little bit. Don't want to look at it, but yeah, there's the um, laser light emitter. And actually, just moving this around, it is kind of flashing me in the eyes, which is not good. Um, but yeah, there's the laser light. Ooh, boy. Let's not look at that. So, yeah, pretty cool and should be pretty handy, you know, something for um, drawing lines on the walls when you're hanging pictures or when you're putting up shelving to make sure that things are level and straight uh, according to how this is sitting on the ground. So, pretty cool. Uh, let's go over really quick and take a look at the manual. And we're back. I think this manual is not that long. So let's take a look at the pages really quick. Uh, there's English there. Uh, this has safety regulations. Not so sure they're regulated. Uh, laser radiation, product usage, technical specs. Here's some more specs and information. Let's see what else it has here. Two, three, four, laser emission port. I'll just put these up. You can read them if you want to. And finally, page six. And then it goes into, uh, looks like Espanol. So pretty cool. Also goes into Italian. That's interesting. All kinds of different languages in here. Deutsch. 
so yeah pretty cool i like the carrying pouch and i like the laser level so pretty interesting looking forward to using it for the first time in a real project well there you have it quick unboxing and a first look at uh, the rock seed cross line laser level from amazon pretty cool well if you have any questions or any comments post them below and thanks for watching if you like my videos please give a thumbs up and please subscribe